Garden Reach Shipbuilders has signed a follow-on contract with a German ship owner for the construction of another batch of four more multi-purpose vessels. An Indian Navy's MQ-9B drone has crashed in Bay of Bengal after technical failure. Certain changes that needed to be done with regard to Israeli software in use with the Tejas Mark 1A have been completed, and final trials are on, and the first Tejas Mark 1A is set to be delivered by the end of October with reserve engines. Apollo Microsystems has been declared as the lowest bidder for GNC kit for guided Pinaka rocket project worth 72.26 crore rupees. The Indian Navy has formed two task forces under Rear Admiral rank officers to reach out to the Indian manufacturers to find solutions for its requirements for weapons systems and equipment. The Indian Army is in discussions with stakeholders to identify suitable heavy cargo drones that will be capable of transporting significant payloads to high-altitude locations. The government has approved the next mission to the moon Chandrayaan-4, a mission to the planet Venus, setting up of an Indian space station, and the development of next-generation launch vehicle worth a total of 22,750 crore rupees. Egyptian Air Force officials recently concluded a visit to Hindustan Aeronautics to assess the Tejas Mark 1A, and while HAL is pushing hard to secure the Egyptian order, Turkey has offered its Herjet light attack aircraft to Egypt. The Turkish Herjet has a maximum speed of 1.2 Mach, while the Tejas is faster with speeds up to 1.6 Mach. The Herjet has a payload capacity of 2,700 kg, while the Tejas has a 5,300 kg payload capacity. The Tejas Mark 1 may also offers advanced radar and beyond visual range combat capability, and a compatibility with a wide range of weapons systems, and interestingly, both the Tejas and Herjet are powered by the American F-404 engine. Just 24 hours after the Houthi rebels shot down another American MQ-9 drone with a surface-to-air missile, Indian Navy's least MQ-9B drone encountered a technical failure at about 2 p.m. yesterday during a routine surveillance mission, and it could not be reset in flight. The drone was then navigated to a safe area oversea, and carried out a controlled ditching at sea. The Indian Navy has sought a detailed report from the US firm General Atomics, which has been operating the leased drones and carrying out maintenance in India as per the lease agreement. General Atomics will replace the lost drone with another drone as mandated under the pact, and this incident comes as India is reconsidering the purchase of 31 MQ-9B drones. India's Kalyani Group and Paramount Group are now considering to locally manufacture the enhanced variant of the recently launched next-generation M Bombay 6 Mark III. The M Bombay 6 Mark III is a highly agile 6x6 infantry fighting vehicle that offers next-generation resilience against landmines IEDs and RPG attacks. The enhancements also include increased engine bay protection, and the platform's low silhouette also offers a reduced target, while the armored hull provides protection against ballistic attacks. The RDO's Defense Electronics Application Laboratory has started development of airborne software-defined radio and mobile ad hoc networking waveforms for advanced communication for the Tejas Mark II program that will be capable of securing seamless operations in various mission-critical environments that includes air-to-air air-to-ground and direct ground communications. Today's Top 3 Comments